Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, guys. How are you on tonight? Guess what time it is? It's bedtime story time with Miss Source. I have an awesome, awesome story for us on today. I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day on today. Hope you had a good, good day on this beautiful Monday. I'm going to go ahead on and get started with our um, bedtime story time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. So I'm so, so excited to be reading our bedtime story on tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get started with our story on tonight. Let's turn the music down just a tad bit. <clears throat> Tonight's story we're going to be reading is Bambi the Prince is Born. Bambi the Prince is Born. I'm not going to show all the pictures on tonight. We're just going to go ahead on and read the story. Bambi the Prince is Born. Wake up, friend owl called Thumper, a young rabbit. The new prince is born. Quickly the word spread all of the forest. Animals raced to see the newborn born. They all cheered when he tried to stand up, but his legs were very, very wobbly. He doesn't walk so good, said Thumper truthfully, but the fawn's mother didn't care. She was very, very proud of her little son. What you gonna call him, asked the bunny. I think I'll call him Bambi, replied the doe. Thumper nodded his approval. Yep, I guess that'll do, he decided. When it was time for Bambi to explore the forest, Thumper was happy to help his new friend. They hopped through a hollow log and over a fallen tree. When Bambi fell, fell down, Thumper helped him along. Get up, he said. You can do it. When Bambi tried to talk, Thumper encouraged him. That's a bird, Thumper pointed out. Say bird -a. Bambi loved this big world, and he loved learning new things. Thumper showed him a colorful, beautiful butterfly, which the fawn followed into the field of flowers. Butterfly, he asked, but Thumper explained that they were flowers. He showed Bambi how to smell their Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The fawn copied his friend, but the little black nose met his own. A bashful skunk appeared under the blossoms. Flower, explained Bambi. Thumper exploded with laughter. That's not a flower, giggled the bunny. He's a little, um, but the skunk interrupted. He was happy to be compared with the sweets, with the sweet, sweet, smelly blossoms. That's all right. He smiled. He can call me Flower if he wants to. Bambi enjoyed playing with his new friends that spring. Then one day, Bambi's mother led him to the meadow. The water in the stream fascinated him. As he looked at his reflection, another face appeared beside him. Um, it was a fawn's name. It was a fawn named Feline. Bambi was startled. He ran away to the grassy knoll where their mother stood watching. Bambi tried to hide behind his mother's legs, but she nudged him forward. Aren't you going to say hello? She asked. Bambi, <clears throat> Bambi was shy. He ran back to the stream. Feline laughed gently teasing him. You, he shouted, and chased her too. It was fun running with Feline. Soon Bambi saw great deer bounding through the grass. They were strong and very, very fast. Bambi followed them. He liked prancing around, holding his head high as if he had antlers like the stags. Then suddenly they stopped short. All the forest creatures became really, really quiet. Bambi stared with the others at the great prince of the forest walked by. He was the strongest deer among them and 
His antlers had many branches. Even the stags bowed their heads with respect, but Bambi was curious. He stared in awe, hmm, until the great prince turned to look proudly at the little fawn. Bambi was his son. Soon spring turned to summer <clears throat> and summer to fall. The leaves fell to the ground and the wind blew them away. Bambi stayed warm against his mother in the thicket. Then one morning he awoke to find the world had changed. Mother, what's all this white stuff? Bambi asked. It's snowing. It was snow. It felt cold and wet, but Bambi didn't care. He was excited as he ran about trying to dodge the snow falling from the branches. Thumper was outside playing too. Bambi, he called. Look, what can I do? Hopping, hopping toward the pond, he slid onto the ice. Bambi couldn't believe his eyes. It's all right, Thumper assured him. He thumped his foot. See, the water's stiff. Bambi soon joined his friends, but his hooves slipped and his legs sprawled out from under him. Thumper pushed and shoved to help him stand, but he fell again and again and again. Next, they went to find Flower. It wasn't easy to wake him up. Why are you sleeping? He asked Bambi curiously. All of us flowers sleep in the winter. In the winter, he giggled and he closed his eyes again. Then Bambi and Thumper disappeared into the winter wonderland. The friends could not wait to find out what the new surprises life still had in store. The end. That was an awesome, awesome story we read on tonight about the Prince Bambi. I enjoyed reading you guys a short story on tonight. Well, have an awesome, awesome night. Sleep well. Remember, make sure you're practicing safety, safety first at all, all times. Practice safety, safety first at all, all times. Well, have an awesome, awesome night. Remember, if you're not smiling, I hope when she sees me story time, smile that you are smiling. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome night. God bless you all. Good night. See you soon.